We're going to start off in the cut controller at F4 setups, F1 common menu. Top down, we have the max cutting speed, which is the default unmodified speed when cutting. This is where you put in the speed you found in the cut chart for your metal thickness, and you can then fine tune from there. Manual speed is the speed it moves when you manually traverse with the arrows. G00 is the speed the machine moves at when automatically traversing between cuts. Demo slash back speed corresponds to the frame and demo modes in the space menu. Marker speed isn't applicable to CNC plasma. Curve value is the width of the material taken by the plasma beam so that the machine can compensate. See our quick video on curve. If you're doing a custom part from Fusion 360 that's already compensated for, set this to zero. Corner speed is the percentage of the max cutting speed the torch will move at when rounding corners. This can affect sharpness of corners and tight features where it will automatically slow down the torch. Demo run speed is the speed for the dedicated demo mode. So, if you want to have different speeds for that mode and the space demo mode runs, you can. Cutting type. This is just another way for you to change modes. Switching over to the plasma specific settings with F3, the first option is delay before arc. This is just a pause time when starting a cut before it runs the height setting program. Unless you have specific reasons to slow down the cutting process, leave this at zero. Pierce time is super important. If you change the material thickness regularly, you will change this a lot. This is the time that it will hold the torch in place when it starts the arc so that it can punch through the material. Our setting chart gives you a good start point for pierce time on a variety of material thicknesses. Torch up time. This is the amount of time the torch will rise when a cutting operation is finished or stopped. I usually leave this at the default of two seconds. Arcing check time. This is the amount of time until the machine stops and displays an error if there is no initial arc. I usually leave this at the default of 10 seconds. IHS check time and uptime. Again, these are just settings where it is going to slow down the cutting process by running the torch up and down before cutting. I leave them at zero. Speed to lock the THC is light corner speed because it's a percentage of the normal speed, but this is for when the torch height controller locks as a result of the next setting, distance to lock THC. This is the distance from the start and end of a cut segment that will lock the torch height. In most cases, I will leave it around five millimeters. It can help prevent erratic torch height movement at the beginning and end of a cut. Time to disable THC after piercing. This one defaults at zero, but especially on thick materials, you may find this necessary. It will lock the torch height after piercing for the specified period of time, which can prevent erratic torch height movements when the arc is stabilizing and is again particularly useful on thick material. Lose arc delay is the period of time it will wait before tripping an arc alarm if it detects the arc is lost. Generally, I leave this at zero so it stops as soon as possible in the event the arc is lost. But in some cases, you may lose the arc briefly when traversing a gap and it will restart. In that case, setting this to a second or so may allow you to continue cutting without the alarm pausing your cut. Arc off before M08 is CNC speak for the time it will lock the height controller before turning the arc off. I usually leave this at zero. Leave watch arc enable checked and leave use cylinder THC unchecked. These are system operating modes. On the right side here is where you can reset your counters and time logs if you wish to do so. Always remember to press F8 to save your settings before exiting to the next screen. The F5 system menu is worth a mention for the plasma accelerate time setting. This alters how fast the movement will accelerate from a stop and when changing directions, and it can have a significant impact on cutting. The default of 0.3 seconds is a good start. If you cut on thick material often, you may find cut quality is improved by adjusting this up a couple of tenths for a slower change of direction. Taking a close look at the torch height controller, the arc voltage is one of the most important settings. The setting chart has guidelines, but generally you may want to raise the height when cutting thick material and lower it on thin materials. Another setting adjustable on the right front of the panel is the initial height setting or IHS. This is important to turn up when cutting thick material to reduce the amount of slag being blown back towards the nozzle. Pressing the knob will run an IHS demo. Jumping into the menu settings, I'll hit the important ones you may need to change. P05 is useful for preventing collision when there is a gap in the material being traversed. If arc voltage spikes beyond the set arc voltage plus this number, torch height control will disable until it returns below that number. P06 is adjustment precision. If the actual arc voltage differs from the set arc voltage more than this number, it will adjust the torch height to compensate. I usually leave this at one. P07 is a reactivity adjustment. The bigger the set number here, the more aggressively the torch will compensate for changes in arc voltage. 
You want to keep this number low to prevent the torch from becoming erratic. I will usually keep it around six and only adjust a couple clicks down if I want smoother torch height movements. P11 is a collision counter. If the torch crashes, the set number of times cutting will stop. I'm not worried about the torch colliding and you should always supervise the CNC table when cutting, so I leave it at zero to disable it. The other settings are disabled or are system parameters that should not be modified.